some advice. Should I put this little conversion chart right here or should I put it right here? Comment down below, let me know. Hi guys, welcome to my empty kitchen. Today, I think I'm gonna be doing a bunch of just organizing, putting things into the kitchen like my silverware, um, plates, dishes, whatnot. There's not much to show you right now. Everything is just empty. I do have my trash and like recycling, if you want to call that. It's just in the Chipotle bag. My fridge is also completely empty, so I will definitely need to be going grocery shopping very soon, but I don't think I have enough time for this video to do that, so stay tuned for another video. Also, there are about 95% of you guys who are not subscribed to my channel who watches my videos. So, what are you doing? Please subscribe to my channel, especially if you really like lifestyle, such as this moving content, since there will be a lot more on my channel. And if you are subscribed to my channel, thank you so much for coming back to my videos and checking in on me. I really appreciate it. And yeah, let's just go ahead and get on with the video. First thing I wanna do is basically take this plastic like wrapping and put it inside each and every single one of my drawers, shelves, everything, so then the dust will collect on the mat and not on the actual drawer underneath it. My mom told me that I have to do this because she does this at all of our drawers at home. I'll go ahead and do that first. than I expected. Honestly, that took like at least an hour and a half, but everything is all laid out with like the plastic mats. The very back one was ginormous and luckily I had like the scraps of like the other mats when I had to scale it and like cut it to size. So now that all the shelves and drawers are all prepared with the plastic, I can go ahead and grab my Brita, my silverware, my dishes, and just everything just to lay it in and load it up. All right, I think I'm gonna start with ugh my dishes first because this is the most fragile one I don't want it to break. In case you're wondering where I got these dishes, I got them from Home Goods for only $20 for a set of four. It is by the brand Tabletops Gallery and I showed it in my first apartment haul, which if you have not seen it yet, go ahead and click on the video above and it'll link you right there. Oh, they're kind of dirty. I don't know if there's like a right or wrong way to organize your dishes and like your kitchenware, but I think I'm gonna put my plates and my bowls down here and then anything up there will probably be like harder to reach things or things I just don't grab that often. Low key, these plates are kind of tiny. I have no idea what the hell you're gonna fit on here. Like you can't fit an entire meal on this. I take that back, Never mind. This, this is the plate I was thinking. Okay, next up I have this entire laundry basket just filled with a bunch of like spatulas, silverware, chopsticks, spoons, everything like tiny. So I'm just gonna go ahead and fill up my drawers with these. You guys, look at this drawer, this like little Ikea drawer organizer. You put it here, there's not like, like there's space here. So like you're like, yeah, okay, that's fine. I can just organize it, like go around it, okay? anything after that what well what I was trying to say is that that Ikea insert drawer organizer fit perfectly with the drawer inside my kitchen I don't know why I just stopped talking
All right, so it's the next day now. I ended up just taking a break yesterday and just never got back into it, but I still have a couple of things left and I also have all my pots and pans right here. So let's just get cracking. So let's just go ahead and get into it. Ikea needs to step up their game. All right, what do I want to eat? Okay, I literally tried to go to Chipotle earlier and they were out of black beans, pinto beans, white rice, sour cream, uh, mild salsa, corn salsa, literally everything. I'm literally ordering Japanese food right in front of me, but I'm too lazy to go inside, so I'm just gonna do takeout. We got the goods. I didn't get a drink because I have some water here in my basic hydro flask. I ordered some nigiri and I ordered tonkatsu chicken. Super good and super yummy. Okay, I'm gonna eat. And while I'm eating, I'm gonna be watching Bretman, Wa <laughs> Bretman Rock's newest video where he's like in the jungle. Episode one just came out today, so I'm super excited to watch that. No mirrors. For a narcissist to not have a reflection of themselves is kind of hard. All right, so I thought I'd give you guys a little haul on things that I got for decorating and just other kitchen needs that I didn't have yet that I actually really needed. So the first thing here is this little kitchen conversion chart. It's like a little plaque of wood from Bed Bath & Beyond. I got it on clearance for $23. Adrian thinks it's kind of like not really functional, which okay, I can agree with. But like honestly, it's kind of cute just to see like how many ounces are in a cup and also the cooking temperature for chicken, pork, fish, and beef are on the bottom. Next thing is back here and my mom actually got me this at Costco. It is this kitchen knife set and I mentioned in my haul last time that I didn't have one. Yeah, I desperately need one and also it comes with a sharpener and it comes with about seven knives and a pair of scissors. A toaster. I've been using my oven to toast my bread. Um, well, it does work. It does take a while for my oven to heat up. This is from Bed Bath & Beyond and it was only for about $20, I think. Also at Bed Bath & Beyond, I got this small little popcorn um, cup that came in a pair too, because I always eat popcorn with Adrian whenever watching anime. I also went to TJ Maxx, but I didn't film that. And I got these avocado and onion covers. Basically, it's like a little flim cover for your avocado if you have half of it and you don't want to eat the other half so you just put this inside they have the same thing for an onion too it's like kind of flimsy i would say or like it has like a little bit of like a plastic stretchy feel to it i'm hoping it doesn't break on me but it was only two dollars so we'll see i also got these oxo oxo containers they had like a pack of 10 for a hundred dollars but i don't think i need that many and they're pretty expensive so it was more of like an investment maybe in the future if I ever get like a house the housing prices in Seattle are actually insane This is just like a cute like little way to store things like for example I'm thinking about putting coffee in here to open it you like press this button and then it just comes out and then you can close it And this one is a bigger one. I'm actually gonna put rice in here. Finally I got a whole bunch of plants as you saw in my shopping journey. This whole bag is filled with fake plants too 
like literally to the brim. Some of these are from Ikea and some of these are from Michaels. But honestly, I would probably recommend the ones from Michaels because they were only like $3. So that's all I got for my kitchen organization and decorating and whatnot. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and get started with decorating. decoration just because I don't have too much countertop space and I really wanted the plants to be like the main thing you see when you walk into my kitchen so I don't know where to put this or my fake hanging plants I was debating whether I should put this on this wall or the one like this little fake wall right here also I'm not quite sure if I want to keep this in the kitchen I might just move it into my living room or in my bathroom or in my bedroom because there's so many other places to put this. So let me know what you guys think where I should put it. I don't want to drill any holes or make any holes into my walls quite yet until I have a good idea of where to put it. Please let me know because I will definitely take your advice. And yeah, I'm not going to do an in-detail tour yet of my kitchen because I think I'm going to save that for my full apartment tour. But I'll give you a quick overview of what things look like right now. There isn't a lot of stuff either because I don't have food quite yet. So stay tuned for when I do a grocery haul and filling up my fridge and all my other cabinets. All right, so if you stay to the end, thank you so much for watching. Please stay tuned for next week. And I love you guys. See you guys in the next one. Bye.